Oh my God. Thank you guys for being here with us tonight. Um, especially right on the heels of it's the end of the month. Right. Um, a more hours. lots going on. If you're pushing for 500, if you're pushing for the big reveal incentive, if you're pushing for points, if you're pushing for convention credits, um, we appreciate you being here with us. And, um, we really felt the difference this last week. Did we not? Yes. With our team being fired up. Get fired up. Yes. Yeah. Did we feel it? Yes. Yeah, we did definitely they, felt did it. Did they feel it? And so, yeah, that's what we first wanted to check in with you guys and see how you were feeling. Do you feel it? Did it feel different? Anything and everything, whatever you want to share. Pretty. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's pretty wet, broad. Yeah. They can pick up on that. They're fine. Yeah. Okay. Anybody have anything they want to share that they feel like this week was better than week past? Or are we all waiting? Monique's going to say something. I can feel it. <laughs> no, I actually was excited because I had actually a quite a bit of activity. I had some people like out of the woodwork, nowhere, just like order. And I don't know how that. Yay! I've never even talked to about it. Just boom, we're like, I woke up and I had an email for a customer, and I had to, I had to message her on Facebook. I was like, Hey, did you order Lexus? No. <laughs> we would all take one of those, Heather. Yeah. Yeah. Sign yeah. so, up. Um, I it not, put me over a thousand. PP, so there you go. That, awesome. that is fantastic. <clears throat> you know, um, I heard this. I have, go ahead. I have, a good, I have a good story. I love good stories. Well, it's kind of not a good story, but um, when the came out, in the email, if you had to have a U.S. customer, so I phoned customer service, and they made it sound like it didn't apply to Canadians, and on just Friday morning, I found out that it did, and I just got home last night, and so all day today, I've been reaching out to people, and as of three minutes ago, I got my two. Yay! Awesome. And I, feel, I feel so bad though because I told my team that it didn't apply to us. Don't feel bad. I mean, this is this is what's hard about what you're doing. You're you are an explorer. You are paving the way for other ambassadors, and it's just harder for you. But know that for your team, that I believe that things will be made up for. Where you guys miss out on things seemingly that they'll make up for it. And Plexus, the culture and the heart and the attitude of, you know, we were with Tarl even this last week, just even briefly, but even in those conversations and conversations after, they care about people first. And so I know sometimes procedure and stuff like that gets in the way, and that's kind of what evidently happened with this big reveal thing for you guys. But I know that they'll go back and make it right. Yeah. I, I know that they will, so... And I'm sorry that most of your team missed out. But what a great example for your team that, that you did earn it. So that's wonderful. <laughs> wonderful. Thanks. Okay. Anybody else have anything they want to share? Well, I know that Monique's not had the easiest uh, of oh, weeks no, in she's this had week. A rest so um, so glad that you made it through. Thank you. I It was a little different this week. Can you hear me? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It was a little different this week. I offered kind of big incentives but I did get in some great conversations. Not everybody ordered, but I, you know, reached my goal at least and um, felt like some um, new interest and some old customers, came, one came back. And so, yeah, it did feel different. Absolutely. Good. So I heard this and it's made me crazy because I heard it in my first year of sales and I've heard it 20 years later now. And that is, um, I'm going to completely lose it after 20 years, but um, and it's not around activity. Not activity cures all, but the harder I work, the luckier I get. Isn't that crazy? It's like, oh, all these things kind of fell into place, but I have a I guarantee that each of you was doing just a little bit extra or trying something different and really focused, and all of a sudden things fell in your lap. Yeah. So, uh, totally. That's great news. It's great news. It is great news. And okay. we feel the same way. Um, for us, I, I know for me and I shared a lot of my heart with you guys last week, and I thank you for being so respectful, and you're always so honoring to me. I don't feel like I deserve the accolades and the love and support always that I get from you guys, so thank you. But even for me, I felt like 
and I didn't earn the incentive until today, um, this whole month and just building up that there's just time after time after time, the God's continuing as we push through and as I've pushed in um, and not a hundred percent success, not every single person like Sherilyn said, said yes, that I talked to you, but there were more opportunities, more conversations. And I feel like that there's things building um, to be real honest with you. My points were way down this month. Um, my activity has stayed up, but my points for a team and it's so tell me what, what and what, what was the revelation? The revelation together. is that all this stuff that we talk about the 60 day or 60 to 90 day rule really does apply. Um, if you are in coast mode, you need to get out of coast mode because it might feel okay in coast mode for the moment, but you're going to feel the pain of that 60 days from now, if you're so, staying in coast mode. So, so looking back in February, mm -hmm. um, when I was going through all that I was going through with my mom and that was where I was supposed to put my attention and focus. I know that, but I worked my business, personally, <laughs> but as a, as a leader, I was not pouring into y'all. I was not doing the check-ins. I was not having conversations. And let's be fair. You weren't really working your business personally as nearly as much. No, as not as much. No, no I close. was, I had some favor, but I had three, I had three new customers. I, had two new again, but still, yes, yes. Coasting. Yes. Very much coasting, putting my business on the back burner per se. And in February, I didn't see it, the, the hit. And in March, I didn't see it, but I for sure saw the hit this month as a whole. And this should be one of the highest months of the year in terms of growth and points from a, from a leader's perspective. So I want to encourage you to take a look at your own business and say, where, do, where am I finishing for April? What are my goals for May? Your goal should be that you finish higher in May than you started in April or fin I mean, finished in April. And are you in coast mode? Have you been in coast mode or are you in push mode? And the good news is, is if you're in coast mode, you can get out. And the great news is, is if you're in push mode, you're going to see those benefits 60 to 90 days from now. Yep. So don't lose heart. Right. Totally agree. And, and again, um, it's just a quick decision. It's not something that magic juice or it's going to take you weeks to come out of. Right. It's a decision when the calendar flips uh, at midnight tonight. Oh, no. Let me get rid of this. Okay. Thank you, because that was kind of driving me nuts. And so then the other question I wanted to ask is who? I don't care. Okay. They're okay. I'm not in the, shouting at them. Okay. Uh, the other question I want to ask is who had a rougher week this week? Because I want to keep it real, real. And um, this should be a safe place to keep it all together. Why are you raising your hand? I had a rougher week this week. You had a rougher week this week. Yeah. Terry raised her hand. Yeah. Tracy. And so I applaud you guys for sticking it out and being back here because it's real easy to come in and get raw rod for a few minutes and then go back and do, do life on your own, do your business, try to juggle all the things that you're juggling. We talked last week about that long list of valid reasons that make working our business sometimes such a challenge. And, um, Sometimes we can fall short, but that's okay. And there are going to be things in life that just beat you down and things that you don't have control over. So I'll say this again. I've said it many times. Control the controllables. The things that you can control are your activity and your attitude and your way of conducting your business. Everything else is noise. Everything else is out of your control, so you can't worry about it. And you have to do your best to deflect it and keep moving forward. Yeah. yeah. Our pastor talked some today about, um, again, on this whole theme of get fired up. And we didn't really even have a, it wasn't a full sermon per se or message going alongside of that in next in the series, like to build on it. But he talked about um, be as a leader, sometimes we deal with things that we kind of keep masked or hidden from people and um, that while that's okay because you're leading people, you still need to be able to have a place to, to address it. I said, I'm sorry, assess it first to go, wait a second, what's going on? Where am I struggling? Then address it. So if you're assessing it and you're saying, okay, I'm dealing with a lot of heat, use the example of um, insignificance. 
He really struggles all of his life. There's been a revolving theme of feeling a lack of significance. He was an accident baby. His parents told him that always. He was a, um, he would, thought he was going to be in ministry and people were like, well, but you won't ever be a pastor, right? Because you're not good enough to do that. You don't know how to pastor. So he talked all this stuff and gave lots and lots of examples of, in, of insignificance. He doesn't come off as a person that would struggle with that. And yet he shared it. He said, he assesses it. Then you address it and you say, okay, what does the Bible say about me? Not what I say about myself, not what Phil says about me, but what does the Bible say about me? And that going back and, and again, that goes back to what we've talked about a lot about affirmations, writing out scripture, what scripture says about who you are. And then that's how you make progress with it. So you AAP it, you assess it, address it so you can progress it. Um, and I think for all of us in our businesses, there are areas that we need to assess, whether it's our mindset, maybe it's our, our time management, maybe it's our stage in life, maybe it's our attitude, maybe it's the people, you know, getting stuck on wanting blame and thinking, well, my team should have me further than we're at right now. Um, whatever that area is you need to assess, then address. And if you, you know, really, honestly, you can address it by yourself. You and the Lord, you don't need even us involved in it. But if you need help from somebody that's going to love you through that, we, we can do that as a community or individually. And then we want to hear about the progress. Go ahead. You're going to make some progress. And that's just the journey that we're all on. Yeah. And uh, we'll, we'll peel the onion back. One of the things that Jen and I had to assess this week was that, you know, we're really big on speaking life and, um, we're really good about seeing the future and speaking the future and being positive. I mean, um, uh, and someone might struggle with it a little bit, but the whole point is that what we realized together is that we were not waking up in the morning like we used to and going, God, bring rock stars in our midst, bring people that need what we have to offer to us today. That's something so simple, and other people might look at that as fooey and cheesy, cheesy and whatnot. Um, but it works for many, many, many diamonds that we know, and it's worked for us. And, and why not? And many too. areas of our lives. So we're like, okay, we need to start every morning before our feet hit the floor, and call those things um, back into life um, and speak them into the future. Right. Okay. Somebody had their hand raised. Jeanette, you want to talk? Maybe she's on mute. Maybe in a second you can okay. unmute yourself. Okay. So moving forward, what does that mean? We want to make sure that when we're doing a temperature check that, um, on these weekly calls, we have some emotional time where we're not emotional, but you know what I mean, where we tap into the emotive part of everything. But then we want to talk about. What are you doing? I'm waving at my daughter for a drink. Oh. Um, we want to talk about some practical things coming our way and how we maximize that. So not just talking about, okay, let's be in the right mindset. Let's know that 60 to 90 days from now, whatever I'm doing right now is going to impact me. But what can we be strategic about in the month of May that's going to help us achieve the goals that we have? One thing I love, um, we did a lot of training this weekend for two new level ones and twos for us. Mm -hmm. And one thing Phil said was awesome about the why. Your why has to be bigger than your worry. So I want you to challenge not only yourself to know what that is and to identify that, but ask your team. Um, you know, one of the things that we saw with this week also with Matthew in our um, little liaison meeting earlier this week was that our duplication is great for levels ones and twos. And then when we get to level three, it's kind of fallen apart. It's in a our diamond team. shape. Right. So it should be a pyramid where it goes like this, and we've got all this duplication at the bottom, but ours is diamond. So once we get to level four, the duplication stops. Mm -hmm. And so that really doesn't just fall on us. That falls on you guys, too, because we want to make sure that what we're, and, and I'm trying to tie all this in, but what it is that we're working on and tight and trying to achieve that we're teaching others. And the why is really a critical kind the of first corner component. piece to all of that, to a component of keeping people around. You know, why does somebody need to keep their convenience order? Why can't they just, you know, I can go in and order a bottle of ProBio when I want or a bag of Slim when I need it or ease if I know we're going on a trip where I'm going to be really active. Um, 
But if we can start to change the culture Mm -hmm. and really help people, and that's why I loved that because anytime I hear even from y'all that somebody's not working as much as they want to or, or needs to, it's around worry. It's around fear. There's some sort of fear-based thing going on. Well, I just don't know if I can afford that. Well, I just don't know if, if I can make the time for that. I just don't know if people are going to want to want to hear from me anymore. I just don't know if, if I have it in me. That's all based around that worry. And so I think if we can, as a group, really ask our teams um, to give us some feedback and really self-identify for themselves um, what that worry is and that their why should be bigger than that. I think you will have a heart connection with your team to really help pull them through this next month. So this next month we have tomorrow's May 1st. We have 31 days in the month. I love 31 day months. <laughs> they give us all a little bit more time to get the work done in the month to get paid for the next one. So we have 31 days. Tomorrow is May day, the very first day. Um, in just about five days, we have what? Big reveal here in Dallas. Super, super exciting. That's next Saturday, May 6th. And then um, we have convention May 29th. So we kind of have this big thing happening at the beginning of the month. We have this convention that's going to kind of culminate probably the business that we proceed and have during the month of May, but then really should be the focus to push us for the summer. Now, if you have been with us for a summer, raise your hand. Okay, let's talk about what happens in the summer. Typically. Summer slump, summer slow down, summer slack off. Summer stinky. <laughs> summer, yeah, summer bad. <laughs> yes. always, Jen's like, can we just go on vacation so for I don't have to deal month, with this So I can just summer? pretend like it doesn't. At least I want a good reason if it's going to all fall sure. apart. No. Sure. Here's what I want to say. This will be my fourth summer. My fourth going into my fourth summer. My very first summer, I started in July, and I had an amazing last half of the summer because it was brand new, and I was like, let's go, let's go, let's go. Yeah. Second summer, kind of got slapped in the face and everything startled and like, what's going on? Tried the, my best to kind of hold things together, experienced some downtime, some, some hit. Last summer, third summer in, kind of took the attitude like, well, we'll do some things, but I'm not going to try as hard because I know people are not going to show up anyway. Well, guess what? That is not the right thing to do. Checking out for the summer because you think everybody else is, is the worst thing that you can do because your business, guess when it will suffer? October, November, and December. You do not want to go into the winter months dragging, being at the same rank that you're at or losing your rank and going, wait a second, I have been spinning my wheels. I love these products. I know I have people that love these products. And yet, what am I still doing at gold? What am I still doing at silver? What am I still doing at ruby? What am I still doing at senior gold? So I am going to make the commitment to my business and to you that we're not slowing down for the summer. Now, will people go on vacation and will there be a slowdown in terms of and they should routine? Yes, yeah. there should be breaks. But collectively, I really want to challenge you right now, while it's still crazy, to stay committed to your business this summer. To really take whatever comes in June at so convention. You need to lean into your teams right now. That's yes. it. Okay. That's the you need to lean into them and nuzzle in and talk to them about the summer and talk to them about their wives and really lean into them now leading into the summer. Right. Great advice. Thank you. Great advice. So we are going to have a fun but challenge challenging group this May called um, May Mentum. And um, I will be posting a little, um, graphic and explanation of all this, but I'm talking to you guys about this first before it's posted when we finish tonight to start coordinating and gathering people to do some IPAs. Now this will be easy IPAs, but they will be daily. They'll be offered Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday as challenges, and there will be prizes along the way for everyone that participates. So it should be fun. We're going to do, um, on May 11th and May 15th, if you'll mark those two nights, I don't even write, didn't even write down the day of the week that those are, but the May 11th, we're going to do kind of a testimony night, which is just testimonies, 
And then May 15th is going to start another seven day challenge. Now we are finishing up a seven day challenge and I have to apologize because that group has not gone. Um, like I wanted, it was too close to the other one. We used the same group. We will start a whole new format. We will use it for um, brand new, but also again, those people that want to be connected. And the difference is, is that we're going to kick off this momentum group on May 8th. So we will have everything gathered and all the knowledge that we have gained from the big reveal and the excitement of that, of everybody wanting to run their business and kind of kickstart and re restart their, what they're doing with their business because there's some, <coughs> okay. So that will be coming. Um, it will not be, it'll be a closed group, but it won't, but it won't be secret. So once you're in, if you have people you want to add, you can add those people as they're interested. Um, obviously as always, Terry and Trila, y'all are welcome to participate as, um, completely. Um, I'm trying to think of what else I have written down on all of that. And then tomorrow night, we will not have the team, uh, the team mango training because in lieu of, we will be going and everybody participating in that. Listen to the experts um, graphic that I posted, which is led by the McCalls with the Thompsons, the Thomases, sorry. And that should be a really interesting, really great call. They are actually going to have a um, secret word at the end of that. So I will be posting that link and what that is. And then we will do a drawing or a giveaway for somebody who's participated in that. So to get you some interest. So anybody that you've talked to in the last couple days that said didn't say yes for this um, big re reveal incentive, maybe invite them tomorrow night to that call because it will have um, Laura, what's her name? Laura Wilkinson the gold medalist or the Olympian Olympian's going to be on there. That doctor, the naturopath is going to be on there. I can't pronounce her name. Um, Rachel Rogers, and then another fitness trainer. So it really will be all about health. Um, and to have all of those experts on for 35, 40 minutes. Wow. Great opportunity. So I've thrown a lot at you in a short amount of time, but I think if we can all, um, Again, it doesn't have to be rocket science. It doesn't have to be hard, right? It just means staying connected and kind of going along with what's, what we know is out there and connect as you can. Um, connect your people to what's offered as you can because the more interest and connection you have in your groups, the more activity you're going to end up having in your business for the month of May. Questions? Can you hear me? Uh huh. Yeah. So, so explain. Can you say that one more time? What you just said about the group, or what? The about getting your people more involved. Um, like, tell, can you tell me some of the things that you do to get people more involved and more engaged? So, a lot of it comes with with your attitude and your um and just showing up and being and being okay with being the only one that shows up for a little bit. I mean, if y'all look at our team, we have almost 1,700 people on our team. And if you watch, if you look at some of our posts and things that come, um, sometimes there's three people that comment. So I'm not even, I don't want you to worry so much about the numbers of people showing up. I want you to worry about the, um, the intent and the level of quality of the engagement that you're getting yeah. from your people. So if you don't know how many people are actually just viewing it without liking it. You well, just sometimes put, you can you, see that, but. The point is, you do it, whether there's one person or a hundred there, you lead the same. I think that, Terry, I think we're, we're lucky or we're fortunate this month because I think just by virtue of the big reveal, the curiosity is going to be what kills the cat. You know, the curiosity of what people that have been maybe lurking around or not have been as involved are going to want to know what's going on and may lend it itself to them getting involved. That's why I think this group will be fun because it's going to be something that people can participate <laughs> in. If they participate, they have a chance to win a prize. It's not going to be a lot of pressure. It's going to be like a daily IPA kind of a thing. It's going to be like, reach out to two people and comment what their response was or send the magic message five times. Um, it's not going to be, Oh my God, here's the Jen's post again. That's going to be some ob big obligation. If they can handle it, if they can participate for a few minutes in a day, that's great. Um, and then I think having these activities back to back, so there's something, you know, the reveal comes on the 6th, then, oh, that light's going to go away. 
May 8th is when that starts. May 11th, we're going to have the testimonies. May 15th, like there's going to be something constantly, but it's not going to put a lot of pressure on them and then build up to convention. Um, I think though your question about connecting with people, just, ch just being real and checking in with your team and going, look, I'm not, I don't care if you're not working your business this month. I just want to know what's going on with you. And when you get to that, it, there's room there for then usually when there's genuine conversation back and forth, then there's opportunity to speak into their life about what the, what's going on with their business. And I did that today and granted it was a three minute conversation, but in that three minute conversation, just genuinely checking in on that person, they said, Oh, by the way, um, I know I'm only at 60 PV. I just went in, I just ordered to go over a hundred and I just turned my convenience order back on and made sure it was over a hundred dollars. I didn't ask him to do any of that, but just simply by reaching out and generally seeing how they were was all it took for them to get re-engaged in their business. So Yeah, I just I think sometimes we can't we can't always come at people from the well, I haven't seen you post, I haven't seen you do this, I haven't that. Cause that just sets them up for feeling bad about themselves. Like, yeah. okay, here's one more thing that I haven't been able to check off my box and people, when they don't feel successful or confident in something the the human nature is to, to cower to back, pull back, to pull back and not to engage. So if we make it very engaging and very fun and very low expectation or low demand on the involvement, that's where we're going to get. That's all I really got. I think I threw a lot in them. You did. Do you, do you want us to push out May Mentum or just really focus on the big reveal? Um, so what I'm going to do is I will, the post that I will post tonight, you can copy and paste in your group. And okay. see, it's, it's really going to be one post with a graphic to just draw some interest. And this week we'll be building up to the reveal. And then it will start May 8th. So Perfect. it'll just make them aware, but not, there's no expectation yet. Okay. Is anyone worried that the big reveal, it's not that big being, this is the safe place. You can, yes. <laughs> lots of hands, yes, lots, lots of hands, hands, lots of faces nodding. So here's what I want to say. Cause I, and again, that's Mr. Skeptic over here too. No, 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 no. I'm the opposite. You're the one who's, who worries uh, in this instance, worries away. <laughs> But here's what I would say. It could be as big as you want it to be or as little as you want it to be. True. So um, I have no doubt that it's going to be fantastic. And if it's not quite what I imagined, I'm still going to make it fantastic to everyone that I come in contact with, regard irregardless, right? Is anyone flying into Dallas to, to see the big reveal? Okay, so we got no money invested if it's a plot. <laughs> <laughs> so you don't know how many people invested in in coupons and stuff tonight for incentives to get their orders you know, and to get their whatever but that's again, okay to you i i think it's going to be exciting i really do um you know Charles didn't give it to me when he was here this week i told him not to he wanted to tell me and i'm like just just hold on it's okay um but don't be that's another thing that we were talking about don't live in that space of worry and concern that's not going to be as big or meet your expectations. Just let it be what's going to be. Mm -hmm. And if it's not what it is, it's still fantastic. And well, and just remember what's a big deal to you is my, or what's not a big deal to you might be a big deal to somebody else. Just yeah. like everything else we tend to, everything is the, we're the barometer, but sometimes that's not always the best barometer, right? So we have a peer that's like, you know, hopes it's power bars. And I'm like, if it's power bars, I'm going to barf. <laughs> and, and they would go like through the roof if it was power bars, you know? So everyone's <laughs> expectations are going to be different. Just let it be what it's, what it needs to be. You're so funny. I, I know, I'm just, you know, power bars. So I, I'm going to really lean on trailer because I'm, y'all know where I'm going to be. And I heard the receptions, not like the, uh, phone, you know, the bandwidth isn't that great, and I'm just sick. I'm just like, really gonna have to carry the team. Yeah, yeah I'll be, I'll actually be in Fort Worth at my in-laws' house. Um, the, 
that's why I really wanted to get on the page, Jen, so that I could get sure, sure. Art to help I'm Terry out. Okay. okay. Yeah. There'll be no shortage. I Phil, think, I'm sure we'll have it live streaming, and, and we'll yeah. be we'll be sharing as as fast yeah. as we can with everybody. You know, here's the good news: you registered. If you all have registered, then you know you're assured. Um, promo or whatever to go along with this so nobody's going to miss out I know that in the past our plexus our plexus experiences sometimes are oh everybody loves it and it's gone all of a sudden but I really think I think that they're doing a better job um, as a marketing team and promotions team um, and I think that's really why this is built the way it has been built to do it effectively for everyone all right, what else is scaring us what else has got us worried they all froze. My instability of internet connection. Mm -hmm. Everyone's frozen, but us. No, they're back. They're okay. back. They were frozen for a minute. So, uh, is there anything that's got people worried or nervous or fearful? Or do you think that they're Do you think that they're prepared for the onslaught? I mean, do you think the system's going to be able to handle whatever? Because I mean. Hmm. No, <laughs> uh, no, no. I mean, again, um, I look at some of the biggest companies in the world, and they have crashes when they have bigger. Oh yeah, you know who I work for. <laughs> I mean, right. So no, you go in with the expectation that if there's going to be some issues, but I also go with the same expectation that Plexus does right by their ambassadors every single time. So I ain't gonna sweat it because they'll get it right. And if we have to have a wait list for customers, I'm sorry, but that's a good thing. You know, <laughs> like if we can say that every ambassador bought every lick of whatever is new that's coming out, <coughs> then that creates interest in a whole new level that you say, okay, who wants on my wait list? Or yeah. that's true, like I waited forever for some stupid eyeshadow from lip lips and whatever, and now I'm thinking maybe I should order two tubes so I don't have to wait again. So I think you're right about that. I mean, that could be in our favor if we did have that issue. Yeah, so um, it's all good. It's going to be great. Demand. Demand. So I want you all, I want to challenge you all this week, and really even tonight, to set aside a few minutes to write down some really ambitious goals for yourself for May. Some things that scare you a little bit. Um, you know, I can look at each person that's been here for quite some time and know that this is not the first time you've done this and you may feel a little bit tired. Maybe you're feeling a little bit refreshed. I don't know where you are on the spectrum, but I wanna encourage you all to dare yourself to dream a little bit to write down some ambitious goals. And now that you've known us for quite some time, know that we're gonna support you. And if you fall short, you're not gonna be chastised. You're not gonna be blamed. You're not gonna disappoint us. We just want to push ourselves. We're gonna be pushing ourselves from a personal standpoint here for the next 29 days. So we're gonna push ourselves a little bit in the um, business standpoint too. Mr. Extreme over here. There's no balance with Mr. Mango ever. So. Extreme. Yes. Okay. And then do the same for your team, right? Yeah. When yeah, you have right. it for you, then you need to pass it down, even if it's just to one person. Just one. That's all that, that's required to make a difference. So, and you have, you each do that every day anyway. So just be a little more intentional about it and, and be amazed at what happens. Good. Good stuff. Good stuff. Questions, comments. Concerns. Jeanette still has her hand raised. It's stressing me out. Like, Jeanette, do you need to say something? Maybe she just. No, I don't. Oh, okay. <laughs> yes, you do. You always need to say something. That's a good thing. Okay. All right. Okay, we'll go finish strong. Last couple hours, right? We have how many more hours? So, Two and a half. Uh, Two and a half hours to finish April. And then we're moving into May. Happy May Day. And so be watching for that um, post. That'll be going up shortly. Okay. Thank you. Bye, y'all. Good night. Good night, everybody.